Hello guys and Merry Christmas. Welcome again to the complete Android developer course. In this tutorial, we will learn about Java folder inside the Android Studio. So if you are new to our channel, you are welcome to hit the subscribe button and to get all new tutorials and join our family. So let's get started. If you expand the Java folder and you will find three more folders, but we will work only with one of these folders. So the only folder we are interested in, the top one, which is the for this app on the my screen is com master Android my application. We will see in, uh, in the next couple of minutes in Android Studio how to expand them. So in general, we see that the the project file or the project panel of uh, the, the 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 our app contains the manifest Java section and the resources and the Gradle script. In this tutorial, we are going to see the Java folder. So, if you double click on the main activity file, it will open the editor window. Although we could have just clicked the main activity tab above the editor window. So, if you click this the editor will open the, uh, the, this file in its view. So as we, as we add more Java files, knowing that where they are kept will be useful. So then examining that main activity.java file, we will see it as a simplified version of Java file we worked with the first project. So it's mostly the same, except that there are fewer methods and less code in onCreate method. So, this is the Java main the code of the main activity. This is this is the package. It is our package of uh, our app. It's the import section. Import section. We are uh, we we will learn more about importing the packages, importing the libraries inside our app. So till now, uh, I'm importing the Android X, which is the new Android uh, packages and uh, app compat activity and i'm importing android os bundle now <clears throat> the public class main activity extends app compat activity so uh, as we learned in uh, in java public is an identifier this class and this is main activity and extending it's inheriting from the app compat activity which is the, the default activity of uh, or interface of uh, Android uh, applications. Here we go, uh, we have the protected void on create. It is an overrided method that we it, that it is created and it should be created uh, to, uh, to the view in order uh, to display uh, the correct views and layouts for the uh, user. We will learn more about a life cycle, activity life cycle, and what is the importance of uh, on create method and other methods in later uh, in next uh, videos. So hit subscribe and like to our master Android channel to get more and more tutorials and hit us five stars and comment and like. So it still have the onCreate method which runs uh, when the app is run but there is much less code in it and onCreate is the only method so we have the only method in uh, onCreate if we if we go to our uh, app we will see the only onCreate method so look at the last line of the code in the onCreate method which will be discussed be, uh, before uh, moving on the uh, moving uh, on uh, to uh, explore the rest folder so we see there is a set content view r dot layout dot activity here is a line of code under discussion for details see the layout section so later on we will see the layouts and different types of layouts and how to assign them till now set content view we are setting the the view of the uh, or the display of this activity uh, as uh, uh, activity uh, underscore main which is a layout found 
in the layout folder. The code is calling a method called or named set content view and it is passing data into set content view for the code and the set content view method to make use of it. So the data being passed to set content view is our dot layout dot m activity main so activity underscore main is a layout found in the layout folder and we are setting the content view the setting with the display of this activity and by using the set content view method r dot layout dot activity main for now i just mentioned that set content view method is provided by android api and it is the method that prepares and displays the ui to the user so the what exactly is r dot layout dot main activity we will continue exploring the app folder and diving into rest folder so don't worry if you get confused we'll clarify every concept in real examples with fully detailed lessons we are making these lessons free so if you want us to make new tutorials just rate us five stars subscribe to our channel and download our app so in next videos we will see the rest folder so uh, don't uh, miss to like subscribe and uh, hit the five stars to get the, these apps so back to android studio if we open the android studio and this is i mean later this is the lesson we are uh, displayed this is uh, our app called master android app you, you can find this tutorial and this uh, all examples and all uh, the lessons of our uh, uh, youtube channel on this app so go to uh, and uh, go to um, play store and download master android app and master android pro from the play store and you can see the the lessons here uh, for all sections till now we are diving in the components section and in java folder page number eight if you want to follow us follow us okay back to android studio here we go if if we see here in the panel in the panel we click on the project we select the android we are we have the app we go to the java we see that in the previous videos the manifest folder and java now java folder and and we see the gradle scripts so now we are going to see the java folder and next on uh, we will see the rest folder so till now we want to see the java folder and we hit the first one we don't need the android test or test uh this is not for editing we are going to see our our package net android squad and my and application and this is a java folder a java file so a uh, java file is uh, assigned like in this way this is blue and c you see class this is C means class. So there are in order to create a new Java folder, you can we we hit or Java class we hit on right click with a new and Java class. You can make another uh, another another ways of uh, or types of Java classes. We can find or we can define the, uh, the name here whatever you want classes uh kind if kind if you want to class you can select interface you can enum uh, annotation singleton till now we are going to work with class separate class interface public abstract package final package private this is the the way you can create classes or new java files inside android studio so back android studio as we see in the tutorials in the written lessons this is the package name this is the package name this is the import packages this is the main class or main activity uh, that we are working for and now for it 
that extends the app compact activity compact activity and this is the on create method that is uh, uh, overrided and we are setting the set content view from the layout activity dot main underscore main so if we go to rest folder layout and activity underscore main we will see our uh, layout so thank you guys i hope uh, you uh, subscribe like and comment below if you have any uh, doubt any questions or any recommendations for for our lectures i uh, i am very proud to hear you uh, to hear you from uh, from you to hear from you what are the recommendations and what are the suggestions to develop and uh, make our tutorials more and more efficient thank you guys see you next videos